Let's solve this differential equation. We have y prime is equal to x to the third power times the parentheses with 1 minus y inside. And we also have this initial value right here. And yes, we did this last time. And the way that we did it was to separate the variables, right? However, this is also a first order linear differential equation. First order because we have the first derivative. And it's linear because you see we have the derivative to the first power only. And the y is also going to be to the first power. And in order for us to use that strategy, we have to make sure that the equation is in the form that we want. dy dx plus p of x times y is equal to q of x, right? So that we can find the correct integrating factor. So let's make this happen first. Well, I'm going to rewrite y prime as dy dx, and this is equal to on the right hand side here, in this case, I am going to distribute the x to the third power into the parentheses. It's very different than separating the variables, right? So if you want to review how I did it last time, we can watch the video in the description. But then you see this times that is x to the third power, and then this times that is minus x to the third power times y. And next, I would like to bring this to the other side so that we will have dy dx plus, right, the other side become plus, x to the third power times y, and this is equal to x to the third power. And now you see, we have the equation in this form that we want. And you have to remember the formula for the integrating factor. Of course, you have to make sure that you choose the correct p. Right? p of x right here is positive x to the third power, and the formula for the integrating factor mu of x is equal to e, and you raise to the power of an integral, p of x, which is x to the third power, and you have dx right here. Right, let's work out the integral first. Let's put on the e, and the integral of x to the third power is 1 over 4, x to the fourth power, right? Let me put that down as x to the fourth power over 4. Don't worry about the plus e. This is all we need to make things happen, okay? So right here, I will multiply everything by that. e to the x to the fourth power over 4. And this is what we'll get. Let me just put it down right here so I have more space. This times that is e raised to the x to the fourth power over 4. This is my 4. And then we have the dy dx. And we add it with x to the third power, and we have that, right? e to the x to the fourth power over 4, and we put down the y on the side. And at the end, we have this times that. So this is equal to x to the third power times that, e to the x to the fourth power over 4. Right, perhaps I would like to write my four better for you guys, so I will do that right here. Okay, the strategy is that after we multiply everything by mu of x, on the left hand side, we produce a derivative of a product of two functions. This right here is exactly the derivative of two things, mu of x and y, which I'll write it down for you guys as e to the x to the fourth power over 4 times y. Well, let's do a quick check. When we differentiate this, we have to use the product rule, right? We keep the first function and we multiply by the derivative of the second, which is dy dx. And we add it with, we keep the second function, which is dy. And we multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of e to the x to the fourth power over 4, you keep this first. And you multiply by the derivative of this. The derivative of x to the fourth power over 4 is exactly x to the third power. So that's nice. All right, and this is equal to x to the third power e to the x to the fourth power over 4. And now we have a derivative on the left hand side. How can I get rid of the derivative? Well, we can just go ahead, integrate. And of course, we have to integrate both sides so that this and that will cancel. And on the left hand side, it's easy. We will just have this left, which is e raised to the x to the fourth power over 4 times y. And don't worry about the plus c right here. 
we can just put down a plus C on the right hand side. And this is equal to, well, what's the integral of this? You should do a u sub real quick. Let u equals to x to the fourth power over 4, and du is exactly x to the third power dx. So if you integrate this all in all, you end up with e to the x to the fourth power over 4. Okay? The best way you can do is this kind of thing is look at this and do the integral, do the u substitution in your head. Write down an answer and then differentiate your answer. If you differentiate this, you get this and you multiply by the derivative of that, right? The derivative of x to the fourth power over 4 is exactly x to the third power. That means you did this right, okay? Anyways, don't forget the plus c right here on the right hand side. Alright, at the end, divide everything by that e to the x to the fourth power over 4, divide this by e to the x to the fourth power over 4, and divide this by e to the x to the fourth power over 4. So that this and that will cancel, and y will be by itself, and this is equal to this over that, which is just 1. c over this, I will just write it as c times e with a negative exponent, x to the fourth power over 4 like this. This is the general solution. And of course, we have to use the initial value to help us to find c. x will be 0, y will be 3. So plugging 3 into y, and this is equal to 1 plus c, I don't know yet. And this is e raised to the negative 0 to the fourth power over 4. This is just 3 equals to 1 plus c. And this is just 1, right? So it's just multiplied by 1. And of course, subtract 1 on both sides, you will get c is equal to 2. At the end, final answer, y is equal to 1 plus c is 2. So let's put on the 2 right here, and the e to the negative x to the fourth power over 4. And this is the same answer as what we got last time. Which method did you like better?